and the person with the most points will be the person who wins valuable prizes. Now, as I understand it, everyone gets a Pi Day t-shirt, is that correct? Just, just the winning, the winning team. just the winning team gets a five day two. So it's very important to win, root strongly for your question answerer, so that you have that increases your chances because when you feel confident, you get you're more likely to get the question correct. I think we all know that from our math qualifying exams that we've taken. <laughs> uh, and so uh, they're one point each. They're, even though they one some might be harder than the other, they're one point each. Well, I'm going to start out by asking Team B. What's your name? G. G. All right, Team B, we could have made you Team G. Uh, and I could ask her a question, and then if she gets it right, she gets a point. If she doesn't get it right, you get a chance at the question. And then if you get it right, you get the point. And if you don't, then I get the point. And then eventually I might get the point. <laughs> and then we'll, just, we'll do the same thing for so a question for you. So points than us by the end. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, then I have to find a T-shirt that'll go over this coat. Uh, and, and so there's a total of three questions, and we'll alternate each time. And then so the rooting is very important. The louder you are, as I just said, the more likely it is. It's, it's a proven relationship. Uh, the more likely it is that you'll win the t-shirt. So, are you ready? Yes. Let's hear from the contestants. Come on, guys. Let's go, Woo! And your name is Brian. First question. What Greek mathematician used a largely arithmetical iterative procedure to approximate pi using inscribed and circumscribed polygons? Euler, that's a good guess, uh, but it's not correct. Brian, what do you think? <laughs> Greek Pythagoras. mathematician. Pythagoras? Not very confidently, but Pythagoras. It turned out to be, I get the point, Archimedes. Ah, oh, yeah, the, oh, the Archimedes groans. We've heard them before, that's right. All right, now see Team B. If you cheered a little louder, I bet you, you know, Archimedes is right on the tip of her tongue. She might have got it. So uh, for all you pink A's, uh, let's hear a loud cheering for Brian on his first question. Yeah, Brian. Uh, you, might, you might actually need the clipboard for this one. Brian, we believe in you. So we're going to let S be a sphere of radius R. What is the volume of S divided by its surface area? The team's allowed to help. They should stay away, right? Just root. You got it, One third R. One third R is correct. Yes. Come on. You also get to keep the question. As as All right. Your second question. You ready? Do you also get R over three? Did you get one third R? Okay. But it doesn't do you much good now. All right. So here's here's your second question, which I might actually need my glasses for, uh, but maybe not. Twenty-two sevenths is often used as an approximation to pi. Comparing each number's decimal expansion, pi's decimal expansion and the expansion for 22 sevenths, what is the first digit in which the two expansions differ? You don't have to say what the digit is, but which place do the two expansions of, no, you shouldn't help her. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's all right. Uh, do pi and 22 sevenths differ? Which place? You can, can scream and cheer. Can I, can I take a little bit? You can take your time. It's all right to take your time. Just don't take a calculator because they, we're <laughs> actually trying to have you figure it out. All right. Team Blue not wanting to disturb her thinking and not making too much noise. Brian, you can already have it out. So, you could cheer. It's 3.141 and 3.142. Yes, so that's correct. So it's a thousandth place. Yes, very good. <laughs> Nice one. That, it's hard under pressure to figure that out. Very good. Very good. Brian, did you have that as well? Oh, he did, but no points for you, unfortunately. All right. Now, now this also has to deal with the expansion of pi, but in this case, it's base 3, which we all know. Uh, in the base 3 expansion of pi, what is the third digit to the right of the decimal point? In the, yeah, I know. Uh, in the base 3 expansion of pi. It's actually, it might be easier than it sounds, but... It might not sound too easy at all anyway. Yes, the score is now one to one. Sorry, I, I forgot I to announce I the score. Sure. Think about people doing it in their head on the on the pink team, A team. They're not trying to send you a signal as to what the answer is. It's not base three clapping. 
Brian! Brian! Two. Uh, is it two? In the third digit to the right? No. That was. That, you were within two, though. Uh, you can imagine that. <laughs> now, G, do you know the answer? Um, I. Can you wait until I verify it? Is that okay? I'll wait till you verify it, yes, as long as you verify it correctly. <laughs> What would, what would you say her chances of getting it right, even it's if she did one. it at random at that point? At this point, uh, very good. It's a one. No, it turned out to be zero. It's close though. I did. It, it's it's oh, first digit to the right. No, third digit to the right. Oh, third. But but you were right. The first digit right is also zero. So now I have two points, uh, and you each have one. But it's we're going in the last round. It's tied at one. There's the score, the official score. That's the from the Longines system that we print that off electronically. Uh, G has A1, then we call that the steak sauce score. And you have B1, but that's a tie. All right, and now this, this is your last chance here. Are you ready? What is the sum of the series? One minus a third plus a fifth minus a seventh plus a ninth and on and on and on like that. Team B, Team B is chomping at the bit, or champing at the bit. I forgot what the official way of saying it is. I think it's chomping. Right. Uh, Brian is thinking very intently too. You can use more paper if you need to. G. And you can try rhythmic clapping if you want, if you think that'll help. Okay. <laughs> You do look very sharp. Yeah, he does. You could be the host of the next round. <laughs> Brian from Western Michigan. Pi over four. Pi over four. That's correct. Yeah! Yeah! That gives you the lead. You're, you're, you're close. Very close. Very close. Very close. That's right. They can taste. They can taste those T-shirts. Oh, uh, that's right. Yes. That, it's not the, the free lemonade from one of the graduate receptions coming back up. Uh, all right. So now you can seal your victory here if you get this one right. You're ahead now, two to one. Pink team, two to one. Keep that in mind. Last October. You won't have to do much figuring for this, I don't think. Last October, Japanese engineer Shigeru Kondo calculated pi to a record number of digits, even more digits than of people who were attending this meeting here this year. How many digits did he calculate it to with a computer, of course? And you can get it within a trillion. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. This is, this, this, if you're good at pi in the news, then you'll get this one. But you're still up two to one, so no, it's, there's not that much pressure, Brian. Six trillion? Six trillion? Nope, that's not within a trillion. So do you know what, what is your guess going to be within a trillion when he calculated it? Uh, how many digits did he calculate it to? Within a G. Within, yeah, so the, he calculated it to a certain number of digits, and, if you, and it's in the trillions. And if you say the answer and you're within a trillion, then you'll get it right. Two trillion? No, it turned out to be 10 trillion digits. And the, t the computer in his apartment, it warmed the temperature up to 104 degrees because it was working so hard. And then also, you don't have to worry about a dryer when you have that. So, I think, Brian, you win two to one. Yeah. Right, congratulations. Now, where do you see these prizes? Here they are. I'd like to present you with this a gift bag of AMS um, stuff. Goodies for doing yes. all the hard work. Yes. Uh, and I think the people at MR might have a luggage tag for you, too. If you, if you go over there and ask them for it, they might give it to you. Even if you don't. Right here, my MR right here. Yeah. 
nice to love the luggage tax and show you two different things. So, that was a very exciting round. Very good cheering on Team A's and B's. Thank you very much. Hope you had fun. Brian, again, congratulations. Let's hear it for our contestants. Let's hear it for our host, Mike Green. We even had a tiebreaker. More events like this will be happening in our booth. Follow us on Twitter, Amerimathsoch, to find out. Thank you.